Angela Levin, royal commentator and biographer of senior royals, has said that the Duchess of Sussex could learn from the Duchess of Cornwall's navigation of scrutiny from the public. Levin compared the two women and described Meghan as a difficult woman who is not somebody who wants to work in a team. She said, when, the Duchess of Cornwall, is with Prince Charles, she takes a backward step and shushes there to support him rather like Prince Philip was, she doesn't try to interfere, she doesn't try to outsmart him, or rush ahead and shake hands with whoever is there. Levin praised Camilla on GB News for talking to people during the COVID-19 pandemic using Zoom, allowing the public to see her in a way that they never had before. Shush has also never complained about anything, from the time she was most disliked, before she married Prince Charles, people were attacking her in every possible way, Levin said, adding that the Duchess simply got on with her life quietly. She never blamed anybody and never tried to win people round, she just waited. I believe she felt that if you give people time, they will see what I'm like and then they can make up their minds. Presenter Eamon Holmes then asked whether the Duchess of Sussex should have followed in her stepmother-in-law's footsteps. Levin explained, I think that the Duchess of Sussex needs to prove herself non-stop. She takes on everything she possibly can because she needs to be out there in the front. Shush is not somebody who wants to work as a team, where Camilla doesn't want to put herself out in the front. Levin's comments come after the Queen celebrated her Platinum Jubilee of 70 years as the monarch and gave her blessing for Camilla to become Queen Consort when Prince Charles becomes King. The Queen said, It is my sincere wish that, when that time comes, Camilla will be known as Queen Consort, the title given to the spouse of a ruling monarch. She works incredibly hard and I think the Queen feels quite rightly that she justifies it, Levin said of the news. A spokesman for Clarence House, the official residence of Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall, said that the couple were touched and honoured by the announcement.